good morning everybody so in this video we will discuss another important question as far as your upcoming spa paper is concerning so let us check the question first so question is explain call by value and call by reference with example so this is again another important question because this question is repeated seven times in final university paper so before proceeding with answer of this uh, question i just request you all to please recall all the basic concepts that we have discussed regarding function and pointer during our theory session like what is function how to define parameterize function what is pointer uh, what is use of and symbol what is use of star symbol how to decide how many parameters that we have to pass to the function and so on i am not going to revise all those points in this video i request you all to please recall all those points so that uh, it will be helpful for you for understanding the answer of this particular question so let us begin with call by value so what is call by value when function is called by passing value of variable then it is called as call by value when function is called by passing value of variable then it is called as call by value and when function is called by passing address of variable then it is called as call by reference so the point rather difference that you have to remember is in case of call by value value of variable is passed and in case of call by reference address of variable is passed so this is the basic difference between the call by value and call by reference so let us check example first of all we'll check example of call by value concept okay so in this uh, program uh, i'm just trying to add two number uh, using function using call by value concept okay so what will happen when we compile this program first of all control will be on main here I define two variables which is Z1 and Z2. Then clear screen, I am taking value of Z1 and Z2 from user using printf and scanf. So when control will come here on this line, add Z1, Z2. At that time, see this line is called as function calling. So when control will come here on add Z1, Z2, control will be transfer on add function. Okay, and value of Z1 will get stored in N1 and value of Z2 is get stored in n2 so this line is called as what this line is called as function calling here we call add function by passing value z1 and z2 because before execution of this line we are taking value of z1 and z2 from user and then we are calling this function so here we are calling add function by passing value of variable which variable z1 and z2 variable so if we assume that if user enter value of z1 and z2 as 10 and 20 then uh, this line will become like add 10 comma 20 then that first 10 will get stored in n1 and 20 will get stored in n2 and then control will come inside then 10 and 20 addition will be performed and it will just print result so this is an example of call by value because here we are calling add function by passing value of variable which variable z1 and z2 variable okay so same example we will discuss for call by reference uh, with little bit of changes so next is example of call by reference so in this case see as i said earlier call by reference means function is called by passing address of variable so again here see when we compile this program first of all it will take main Again, I am defining same variable taking value of Z1 and Z2 from user using printf and scanf. Now here observe this line. In previous program, in previous program here add Z1, Z2 directly is mentioned in case of call by value. But in case of call by reference, add and Z1 and add and Z2 is mentioned. So what is use of and? We have already discussed this in pointer chapter. And is used to refer the address so here if user enter value of z1 and z2 as 10 and 20 then 10 and 20 is not passed here to add address of 10 and address of 20 is passed and if 
we make this change on this line its meaning is what we are passing address of z1 and z2 to this function and we know that pointer is a variable which is used to store address of another variable in previous case directly we are passing value but in this case we are passing address so if we are passing address then to store it here we will require pointer variable and how to define pointer variable int asterisk sign n1 asterisk sign n2 in previous case see in previous case only n1 and n2 is mentioned here they are not pointer because from this line we are passing actual value so we can store normal value in normal variable but in case of preference from this line we are passing address so for storing address we will require pointer variable how to define pointer variable data type asterisk sign variable name again data type asterisk sign variable name so if user enter value of z1 and z2 as 10 and 20 then 10 and 20 will not get passed address of 10 and address of 20 will be passed which is stored in n1 and n2 and then further part is now here here again another change see in previous program here directly n1 plus n2 is mentioned because in n1 directly value is stored but in this case while writing formula r is equal to star n1 plus star n2 is mentioned because see here in this case if we write only n1 and n2 then it will perform addition of addresses but we don't want to perform addition of addresses we want to perform addition of values so if we want to take the value then we have to write this formula in this way star n1 plus star n2 and finally it will display result so once again we'll compare these two examples see in this example from this line directly z1 and z2 is passed instead of that address of z1 and address of z2 is passed using and symbol another difference is while declaration normal variable is mentioned because here from this line we are passing normal value but in second case here from this line we are passing address and if we want to pass address then to store address we will require pointer that's why here we make n1 and n2 as pointer variable and in previous case here directly n1 plus n2 is mentioned because addition of value we want in this case also we want addition of value but here if we write r is equal to n1 plus n2 it will perform addition of addresses so if we want to perform addition of value then we have to write star n1 plus star n2 and it will just print value of r in both cases this is function prototype uh, I think no need to explain this point uh, so many times during theory session we already discussed so in this case normal integer integer we have to write but here uh, in the declaration we pass pointer so here int star int star you have to mention I know that uh, this will be slightly difficult to digest uh, but if you before proceeding before watching this video if you recall the concept of function types of function and pointer and then if you watch this video then uh, you will definitely get uh, this particular concept so this is all about call by value and call by reference i again request you all to please watch this video before appearing for the paper if you like this video please hit like button if you have not yet subscribed to my channel Please subscribe so that you will get update about every new video. Thank you. Thank you for watching my tutorial.